Are you tired of the same old shy, timid girl stereotype in romance anime? Say no more! Get ready to fall in love with strong, confident leading ladies on our list of top 10 romance anime where the girl isn't shy. Let's go. Number 10, Final Approach. <laughs> Coming in hot, literally. Imagine a girl parachuting through your window and poof, she's suddenly your fiance. Well, that's what happened to Mizura Ryu. Thanks to some low birth rates, the system picked these two at random as the perfect match, but Ryu's not having it. Crash, flying glass, and here comes Shizuka, his government-sanctioned fiancé with her sunglasses wearing squad. Now Ryo's stuck with her and he's supposed to just accept it cause well, <laughs> he's Japanese. Will he ever get his way or is Shizuka here to stay? It's a wild ride of comedic chaos and unexpected romance you won't want to miss. Each character, although very static, is very memorable. Cliched, it's actually tolerable. At least the characters were entertaining. So get ready for a fun-filled anime with a quirky twist on arranged marriages and cultural norms. Number 9, A Sister's All You Need. Now, I know what you might be thinking. A romance anime centered around sisters. Is this about incest? We promise you it's not. This series revolves around Hashima Itsuki, a 20-year-old novelist with an obsession for little sisters and stories. A little too much if you ask me. Despite his obsession, he is surrounded by a tight circle of friends, each with their unique quirks. Enter Nayuta Kani, a genius yet perverted novelist who happens to be head over heels in love with Itsuki and more characters to choose from. From. So if you want a romantic comedy anime with lovable characters and navigating the dynamics of their relationships while chasing their dreams, then this is the show for you. And of course, the main character's innocent obsession with little sister stories. Number 8, Science Fell in Love So I Tried to Prove It. 30から40度程度が理想的な顎角度のようね。人工呼吸にも使われてる手法だな。軌道確保の目的もあるのだろう。Love, huh? It's all about using science to explain this mysterious emotion. Ayano and Shinya are on a mission to objectively prove their love by using scientific methods. They analyze everything quantitatively, from heart rates to spit. It's like watching a fun and brainy show that somehow makes you feel smarter. Who would have thought two super smart people would be so dumb over something? It's hilarious and is literally Steins Gate rom-com style. <laughs> They even break the fourth wall to explain stuff, making it easy for us newbies to follow along while still challenging us to learn more. The quirky characters, relationships, and moments make this anime entertaining and enjoyable to watch. So if you're someone who loves science and is looking for something to make your heart pound, try this one. Number 7, Magical Senpai. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love magical girls, right? Meet Tijan Senpai, a talented magician with one tiny problem. She's got a massive stage fright, and whenever she messes up her tricks, it leads to some hilariously embarrassing moments with her naughty hints. A gag comedy smothered with fan service. But hey, no worries, her assistant and Kohai, a boy who's stuck in the magic club, come to her rescue. <laughs> Get 
get ready for some magical edgy fun. Or is it edgy magic fun? Yeah, either way, Magical Senpai is a hilarious show that reminds me of Aho Girl. It's all about not taking things too seriously and embracing the cheap jokes and forced edgy moments. With 12 half-length episodes, the series delivers humor through skits that connect the overall themes. Number six, my first girlfriend is a gal. <laughs> Girlfriends, boyfriends, I'm sure most of us have wanted one at some point, or already have one. This anime is here to immerse you in the experience, whether you like it or not. So we get to meet Hashiba Junichi, a virgin on his journey to adulthood, as his friends push him to confess to the gal, Yame Yukana. At first, she finds his approach pathetic, even gross, but nevertheless, she accepts his offer and begins dating him. <laughs> Just like in Please Tell Me Galko chan this anime keeps a pretty neutral to positive outlook on gals. Sure, it's a harem anime, but it's refreshingly different from the standard every girl is completely in love with the MC Just Because trope. The real fun comes from Junichi and Yame, and the unique progression of their relationship, setting it apart from mainstream harems. Number 5, My Dagashi Kashi. <laughs> Have you ever thought it would be great if there was an anime focused on candy? For some reason, if the answer is yes, then welcome to Dagashi Kashi, where hard sugar takes the spotlight. The story follows Kokonotsu Shikada, a young man aspiring to be a mangaka who is also the heir of the family candy store. One day, however, things take a very anime turn when the proactive Haturo Shidare arrives, who is determined to recruit Yo to her father's candy company. As it turns out, he will say yes to it, but with a catch, of course. <laughs> this sweet and quirky show is not just about candies, it's about the hilarious debates between Hotaru and Konogotsu about these tooth riding sweets, as well as the everyday shenanigans with friends. Think of it as a slice of life mix between food wars and candy shop managing. Number four, the maid I hired recently is mysterious. Have you, as an otaku, ever wished for an anime where there's a maid girl who isn't shy? Well, look no further than the maid I hired recently is mysterious. This anime lures us in by introducing a strong female lead that hopefully has a lot of patience. The story revolves around our protagonist, Yuri, who recently hired a maid named Lilith. However, instead of a typical maid, little did Yuri know that this maid's charm lies in her mysterious aura, making their relationship an intriguing and questionable roller coaster ride. Get ready as Yuri and Lilith discover their connection with an age gap that shall not be named, and watch as Yuri tries to uncover the true colors of his mysterious maid, making each episode better than the last. The maid I hired recently is Mysterious is a good watch for all anime watchers, so get ready for an emotional and mysterious journey. Number three, my wife is the student council president. <laughs> <laughs> Next is an anime best watched alone. Brace yourself for this not quite H anime. This is the story of the student council president, Yui Wakana, who is anything but shy. After her surprising win at the student council elections against the protagonist, Hayato Izumi, because this shameless girl promised to liberate love and even threw some circular plastic gloves at the start with the letter C and end with M at the audience, as you normally would do in your big speech of course. Oh, and the two of them are in an arranged marriage.
so you mon dai to this anime is for fans of edgy humor and situations. Yui's shameless pursuit of her husband will excite and possibly make you jealous. The chemistry between Hayato and Yui will keep you watching, alone preferably. So if you're up for a daring romance where the girl takes the lead, this will satisfy your needs. Number two, Uzaki-chan wants to hang out. Who needs a shy, reserved girl when you can have Uzaki-chan instead? With her energetic personality, I'm sure you'll find at least two huge reasons to like her. We meet Sakurai Sinichi, a loner college student enjoying a quiet and peaceful life, but then everything changes when Uzaki Hana attacks her mischievous junior, who has other plans. She's determined to annoy, I mean, liven things up and make sure Shinichi has a social life whether he likes it or not, because being an introvert is uncool. Sakurai is not a hostage I swear. In this rom com, Zukai's chan's playfulness and boundless energy brings a refreshing twist to the genre. She's not timid, but brash and loud, and its charming animation and hilarious scenarios with bits of fan service promise to keep you entertained. So, if you're in the mood for a light hearted show with a light sprinkle of ecchi, this is not the anime to miss. Number 1, Nagatoro san. <laughs> Timid is not the first thing that comes to mind when describing the bold Nagatoro Hayase. Just like Uzaki-chan, Miss Nagatoro sets her sights on her senpai, Nagato Hachiuji, a shy introverted guy who is most definitely into the old B and SM play, if you know what I mean. Nagatoro's almost malicious pranks and relentless teasing turn his world upside down, but it's still somehow a love story. Anime, am I right? Nagatoro's intense love language can only be described as playful torment. Poor senpai. Miss <laughs> Nagatoro's intense personality adds an exciting dynamic to the relationship. It's like cat and mouse, but wholesome, I think. You'll even find yourself rooting for Nagatoro to capture Senpai's heart, especially with her intense personality and harsh approach to capturing a man who could take it, sort of. So if you want an anime with a girl that's not shy, try Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, and this is why it's number one in our list of our top 10 romance anime where the girl isn't shy.